Hi, this is Ronnie, and uh, welcome to the Saturday Stash Dive. Yeah, I'm participating in the dive today with Tuesday Hubbard. And I was watching her video earlier, and I seen um, her say that I was her partner today. Well, I'll take a challenge anytime. And so I'm going to join in on the Saturday Stash Dive. I thought, it's using 6 by 6 paper pads. I have several of them. And so I'm using Hey Kid paper pad. And then the embellishments that I'm using are Hey Kid, Hey You, and Hey Girl. And I have some Hey Boy also, but I'm not using it on the layout. And I'm deciding which way I want to go with that. And I want to decide to go a diagonal and go ahead and sprinkle some uh, paint. I got the paint from Sarah a long time ago. Scrap from scratch. And it's neon paint, but it goes really well with the colors in this. And I decided to sprinkle orange, yellow, and pink. Anyway, as I was saying, I was watching uh, Tuesday's video, and she said that I was her partner today. And I thought, great! I will gladly be Tuesday's partner anytime. And so I decided to... Since I really wasn't busy at the moment, I could have been doing laundry, but I would go do a layout. And so this is what I got out to do. And I'm just trying to hurry up the paint because, of course, most of Saturday's over. And I'm trying to get this done so that I can upload it. Of course, I like using the heat gun anyway. And um, this page right here. Let me see. I actually bought my layout in here with me this time. It says Hey Gorgeous. And um, I decided to use some of the yellow to mat the picture and I'm going to pop it up with some pop dots too. And I'm looking at that border there and since I am going to be using 6x6 six I'm going to um, use some punches. Well, I guess it's just one punch. And punch out uh, some scalloped circles. Well, only half the circle. And add to that border. And uh, make it just a little more decorative. And it also helps the vellum show up, I think, a little bit, too. And I'm going to use the scotch. Scotch. Wrong! ATG gun because it don't really show behind the vellum uh if it's really thin vellum sometimes it does but most of, most of the vellum the atg gun glue does not show behind it and here i'm trying to decide how i want to do it and i decided i'm going to go yellow pink yellow pink but i'm not sure how i'm going to so when i first get started i kind of space it apart a little too much and don't like it that way, so I pull it off and move it and pull it off and move it. I'm going to fuss quite a bit with this. Uh, I think I've got it right here and that it's going to work, but then I end up moving stuff again to see how it's off center there. And I didn't like that, so I wanted to get it centered in between each scallop. And, well, at first I didn't think of that, but after I seen it wasn't, that's when I decided I wanted it like that. And, of course, I'm going to need a couple of more because I don't have enough. I think I cut, punch out, like, two more, really. Well, I think I punch a little more than that, but I only need two more. One I end up cutting in half and putting half on one end and half on the other. And that one was a little tall. I knew it when I punched it that it looked a little tall. But then when I put it on, I could tell for sure. And, yeah, I end up punching a couple pink and then... I decided that uh, with the pattern I had going, I needed a couple yellow instead. So I had to turn around and punch the yellow. But yeah, uh, I didn't, that one punch didn't go all the way over, which I knew I wouldn't need a whole one anyway. But I don't know what I was thinking. I needed a yellow. But I think it turned out pretty cute. And I'm going to make like a strip across the top and since I am using 6x6 six six, instead of having a 12x12 12 12 strip I'm going to have 
two pieces of six by six together. So I'm going to have to cover up the seam and I'm going to end up using uh, one of the chipboard pieces. I didn't like that. I put those little scallops there. I thought maybe they'd look cute on top. But with that one that was dark brown, I just didn't like the way it went with the rest. If they'd all been, all three had been the pink colors, the pastels. Well, they're not really pastels. They're kind of bright. Uh, some of the colors are more pastel, some are more bright. And this is where I decided to go ahead and put my 6x6 six six piece of paper down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my border down. Well, I think I am. I thought I was. Maybe I'm going to put the foam tape on there first. Yeah, I guess I am. And I'm going to have it popped up just a little bit to give it some dimension. This isn't very thick foam tape, but it does pop it up some. And, yeah, it gives me a little bit of trouble. It don't come off really good. See how to go ahead and pull off there. But, yeah, I'm gonna put, I am putting the border down first because I'm going to overlap part of the picture on there. And, yeah, I got it a little bit crooked, but I'm going to straighten it. And I got that a little crooked, and I don't think I ever got that straight. thought I did, but apparently I didn't because I noticed at the end, and right now, that it's still a little bit crooked. But there's where I cover up the seam with the chipboard. And this is uh, one of the vellum banners, but I'm going to fussy cut it out. Don't I cut fast when you speed up the video? Yeah, it's not going to take me too long at all with it sped up. And it's for journaling, but I'm not going to use it for journaling. I'm just going to use it for layering. I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to put it there. And I finally decide to have the line go straight across on... Uh, one of the journaling lines and so yeah that's where it's gonna go no tell where I'm at now I have disappeared oh I'm getting some thickers and I thought I was gonna use that orange first because there is orange in all the paper and of course there's orange in her little costume there uh, that's actually I didn't like that orange so I'm gonna end up getting pink but that costume's actually her sister's costume, but she wanted to put it on so bad. And so she has it on, and she's all excited over it. And like I said, it's not the best picture, but it does preserve the memory. Her little face looks all red. Um, it's took with a cell phone. And so it's, like I said, it's not the best and see that excited how crooked that is? Huh, you'd think I would have noticed it sooner. But I do notice it before the end. And straighten it. And I'm trying to say, oh, yeah, that's the arrow. I thought, what's that yellow thing? Yeah, that's the arrow. And she's so excited. And there's the hay girl. And I end up putting that up on some foam adhesive also. I'm trying to decide what to do with that. That one says, uh, sweet thing, sweet thing. And um, I am cut out one of the scallops to put behind it to add a little pink up to the top. And um, it just kept looking plain, so I was wanting something else. So I had to think about it for a while. And I put the... ATG behind there and some of the little the glue was showing a little bit so I just had to get rid of it so it wouldn't show and that stuck it, you know sometimes they don't stick very good at all but that one stuck and there was a little basket in there and I thought if I don't use it now it may never get used but it'll go great with this layout and there I put it on and then I think that was dumb and I needed to go along the side and I put it all the way across the center. And so I had to take it off and redo it. And I do something even more dumb in a minute. I think, boy, I'm not paying attention well at all. <laughs> and you'll see what I do in, a, in just a few minutes. And that one says, I think you're amazing. And it's one of the 
chipboard ones and that's one of those push pins and it's a chipboard push pin so I went ahead and put it in the picture and I'm not sure what I'm hunting for there oh I'm trying to decide I put an arrow on there and actually put uh, adhesive on it and everything I think and um, changed my mind see I'm trying two or three arrows and then I realized the canvas ones are laying over there and I end up using one of them instead but yeah there goes the he adhesive on it and the whole time I'm thinking I don't really like that light blue for the arrow and so when I find notice that uh, canvas set setting there canvas stickers I think oh great I can use something on there and I really wanted the orange but it was going the wrong way so I used the red and it says wow and I put it there. And yeah, see, that's what the dumb thing was. I put <laughs> I put it up there, thinking up in the right hand, left hand corner, and there it is, wrong corner, because I had my paper turned the wrong way. But I move it. I do notice it, and I move it. Those two arrows are kind of close together, but I think, well, you know, point and down. I didn't have one shaped like that, because I did think about having one that was curved. I used to have a template for one that I made and I'd use it every time but I don't know what I've done with that. And those are the enamel dots that Crafty Maggie Megan gave to me. And uh, I'm using orange, pink, and yellow. And I think I'm about done with this layout. I think we're getting to the end and so I'm going to be able to get this uploaded tonight and it'll still be Saturday and this is when I said I need just a little bit of something else so I put one, a flower up there since I had flowers in a few places already and that's my layout anyway thanks for the challenge Tuesday and here's my layout with 6x6 six six paper and now for the close ups and I did use another program for the close-ups. And um, I used uh, the Windows Movie Maker for it. And just added it to the other video. But there's a so excited. And notice I did get that straightened up a little bit. Maybe it's not perfect, but it is straightened up a little bit. And there's the I Think You're Amazing. That is so cute. With the cloud. And I stuck one of those canvas heart stickers on there. And here's the fabulous with the little basket and the flowers, like the flowers tumbled out of the basket. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Check out Tuesday's video. Bye!